Hi, my name is George McKenzie. I'm not a doctor, but I have had a lot of kidney problems through the years, and I've learned a lot about the different types of kidney disorders. So I've created this video to help anyone who may suspect they're developing a kidney problem and would like to learn a little bit more about this topic. Kidney removal surgery may be done for a number of reasons. It's done most often because a kidney has become diseased and no longer functions. This is a situation known as kidney failure, renal failure, renal insufficiency, or kidney insufficiency. A kidney infection that impairs kidney function can also be a reason for kidney removal. Such infection are classified as an acute kidney infection or a chronic kidney infection. An acute infection occurs in a relatively short period of time and is characterized by severe symptoms. It's often caused by germs that migrate upward from the bladder through the ureters. However, a chronic kidney infection takes a long time to develop and gets progressively worse. There are usually no symptoms that anything is wrong until significant kidney damage has been done. Without treatment, it can result in kidney failure. Other common reasons for kidney removal surgery include a kidney becoming cancerous and threatening the life of the patient, or severe injury or trauma to the kidney. Kidney removal surgery is also necessary in transplant procedures or because of a birth defect. A kidney removal procedure is also known as a nephrectomy. Currently, there are three basic types of nephrectomies. A simple nephrectomy. This only includes removal of the kidney itself. Radical nephrectomy. This is more complicated because it involves removal of the kidney, the adrenal gland above the kidney, the surrounding fatty tissue, and the lymph nodes next to the kidney. This type of procedure is often done when the kidney is cancerous. The third type is known as a partial nephrectomy. This type is usually done when the patient has only one kidney. The removal involves only part of the kidney, or it may involve removing a tumor from the kidney. Kidney removal surgery is done under general anesthesia. Depending on the type of procedure, a rib may need to be taken out as part of the operation. For decades, open surgery was used for removing a kidney. This means the surgeon made a large incision in the abdominal area, removed the organ, and then closed the incision. But in recent years, laparoscopic kidney removal surgery has made it possible to remove the kidney through a series of much smaller incisions, in fact, only about one inch each. Laparoscopic kidney removal surgery is much less invasive and it reduces recovery time significantly. What about recovering from kidney removal surgery? Well, as mentioned above, recovery time will vary depending on the type of surgery that was performed. Immediately following the surgery, you receive IV fluids and pain medication. Blood pressure, pulse, and breathing rate will be checked often. You may have to have a urinary catheter for a short time after the procedure. This is a tube that helps drain urine. Hospital stays generally range from two to seven days, depending on your age, your overall health, the type of operation, and any complications that may pop up. Surgery can be complicated by bleeding, infection, or reactions to anesthesia. You can gradually return to normal activities when you feel ready, but avoid strenuous exercise or activity for about six weeks. This video was created to give those who are not medically trained a basic understanding of this topic. Here are two books that offer additional in-depth information about kidney health. Click on the links in the YouTube About section to learn more.